Morning guys, today I'm going to be testing whether or not Opus 4.5 is still as good as it was the day it was released. Now the way that we're actually going to be doing this is we're going to be doing a test on the service page generator. This service page generator, just so you know, is one of the most OP things that you can possibly do with Claude code. The way this works is I'm going to just going to do git clone, oops, sorry guys, it's pr pretty early, git clone and then remove this and then put full stop, right? And then git checkout uh, service page, no, that's service website generator, is it? Service website generator, sorry. Website generator. And then I'm gonna write Claude. Yes. And then exit out. And then write Claude dash dash dangerously skip permissions. And then if I write agents, it should have all my agents here. Perfect. It does. Right. So my business is crap agency Galway, a digital market, uh, an AI digital marketing agency in Galway slash or more. My GNET API key is, and then we just give it a GNET API key. And then this is literally all you have to do, right? Now, what I want to see is, will this run for an hour like it did the other day, or has it been made lazier? Because the prompt is exactly the same here, right? There is no difference in the prompt. So I'm going to hit enter here, and then we're going to let this run. Now, just before we start this running, guys, please, if you are looking for a little bit more help with these vibe coding concepts, I've recently just cleaned up the entire school community. So it's a lot more simple for beginners. I'm currently going absolutely crazy with the school community. I'm updating it every single day. I'm trying to make it a one-stop shop for anyone and everyone to come and learn how to vibe code. Because in my opinion, vibe coding is one of the strongest concepts on the planet right now. So I'm just going to say generate design here. Um, and if you want to learn, for example, how I make these custom Claude workflows, we actually have an entire course right here if you want to learn how to make them yourselves. Now, this video also does show the entire process, but there's just a little bit more detail in the school community. So if you do want to join the school community, it'd be one of the links in the description or the pinned comment. Come and say hello. Come if you want to support me or if you just want to learn more about vibe coding. Now, the real teller here is how long will this run, right? If this runs for an hour, then we know that they haven't nerfed the model. If it runs for 20 minutes, in my opinion, that's a strong indication that the model has been nerfed since the day of release. Now, I've been wanting to do this test for a long time, like, but I never really had a way to actually test it. However, this time I do have a way to test it and I'll be extremely happy to show you guys whether or not it actually works. So what I'm doing right now is just looking for uh, anthropic uptime and things like that. We had some problems yesterday. This is normally a clear indication. Okay, they're not even fucking appearing on. That's crazy. It was down. It was completely down. That's bullshit that they haven't actually said anything here. Oh, they have said something. Sorry. Elevated errors for requests to Claude 4.5. Investigating. Identified. Monitoring. Resolved. Right? Is this now the case? This is exactly what happened last time. 529. Look, if I do... Uh, control F529. Let's um, go to in incident history. I want to see if we can actually see 529s the day after the release of Sonnet, for example, right? This is exactly what happened with Sonnet. Let's see if it's here. It's not. It looks like they've either, they've either, they're either hiding this or I have to click on one of these to actually see it. But this is what happens every single time they release a new model. So... Will this run for an hour or will it run for a significantly slower amount of time or less amount of time? Let's find out together, guys. Okay, guys, so it did run for one hour, which is a very, very good sign. And it probably means that I was completely wrong about them already nerfing everything. So let's just have a look, see if we can basically see what it's doing or what it's done. Okay, so first of all, the design here is not that great. Definitely nowhere near the level of design that we had last time, which is very, very interesting. 
Uh, it seems like there's some invalid JSON as well. So we should be able to get these done in just a second. But yeah, not really sure. This, you know, the design, it could just be a design problem, right? Design's not that much of an indicator that there's a problem here. Okay, so it does seem to have completed. We got 533 service pages, 52 locations served. I'm not too bothered about things like there being a couple of colors wrong. I know people don't like gradients generally. That's just, you know, generally true. We could easily just improve the design here. I'm not too bothered about the design itself. But overall, let's just see how the build is. So let's go services. Uh, this got a bit fucked up for some reason. That's okay. 404. Interesting. Interesting. So this should not be happening. This didn't happen the other day. Another 404. This could be because it hasn't built though. I'm just going to pause it here. Um, escape actually. And just say, can you run npm run build? I wasn't expecting this to be honest with you. This should not be happening. Um, it might just be because it hasn't been built though. So we'll just quickly build it. We'll make sure it actually builds. And then once it's built, we should be able to click one of these and it should work. So let's just give it a second. Um, restart the server. Okay, that should be the server restarted. Ignore whatever this is. It's just RuneScape. Sorry about that. Okay, let's go localhost 3000 where it should be running. Services 404. Interesting. I did this exact build the other day. I did not get 404 issues. Very, very interesting. It does say 200, though. Weird. Let's just see if it's a quick error or if it's just a complete fail build, basically. But yeah, like I said, I did this exact same thing the other day. It didn't have any problems with this. So maybe they haven't made it lazier, but maybe it's just not quite as intelligent. Let's just see if they can... Let's see if they can fix it really quickly, and if not... I don't really know what to say, honestly. It seems like it might have been nerfed. Okay, it does work. It was just a Next.js issue. Basically, Next.js 16 changed something that Claude wasn't aware of when it was coding. I wouldn't say this is a big problem, guys. This does actually happen fairly frequently, to be honest with you. I would say Opus 4.5 seems as good as it was when it was first released, which is a really, really good sign. They haven't nerfed it yet. You still have time to build. So, PSA, Public Service Announcement. Close YouTube. Get the fuck off YouTube. You've got about four days left to build before this shit gets nerfed. Do not miss your opportunity, guys. Okay? I know that this design is a bit shit. Ignore the design. Claude's not known for its design anyway. It uses predetermined templates that you can only change using skills, for example. Ignore the design here. This is not the important thing. Let me just show you guys what it built the other day for me, which does have a good design, in my opinion. And everything was built perfectly first time. Um, I, this does include a testing thing, which I didn't actually let it test. The only thing I was testing today was, would it run for an hour? Yes. Would it be a complete build with heart, with no errors? Yes. Okay. Those errors, it was just a change between Next.js versions, and it fixed it almost immediately. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.